um, allowed him to go. And so I, I don't like talking behind the back of people. Uh, he, he's, so, he's, listening, he's listening and watching uh, you now. Uh, well, he's he's so on, actually. I, 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 I think that then let me see a few things. See, the idea of diplomacy is a complex thing, and it is something that um, is studied in school deliberately. Um, clearly, if you look at um, what he's saying, he's not a diplomat. And you see, the posture of the, the diplomat itself, you know, matters mm -hmm. in, the, in the conduct mm -hmm. of diplomacy, the posture. Okay, mm -hmm. if you look at the utterances of um, that, his utterances, and of course, the utterances of many people who are speaking um, on this, it, it shows that they are weak in their appreciation of the dogmas of diplomacy. And I would urge them that they should go to the Legon Center for International Affairs and Diplomacy to be schooled. Because diplomacy is not just about talking. Uh, a diplomat knows what to do if you go and doors are shut at you. You don't start the, the, the journey of diplomacy by the issuance of threat. We are going to talk, but um, we will use all force. We are going to talk, but we will go with the military. And, I mean, those kinds of things, they are annoying and they are offensive. Mm -hmm. And they, they infuriate whoever is listening to you. And so I, I think that um, he should tone down on the utterances and be sober if he really um, is interested in occupying that position, is he is really interested in um, addressing um, the, the, the issue. But let me, let, I have so many things to say about this, and then you made me sit here for over one hour, I've not said anything, so allow me to also have my... Indeed, thing. just to state that he's espousing, Ambassador was espousing the ECOWAS's position, not even his personal position. Well, the ECOWAS's yes. position for now, for me, I mean, what is ECOWAS? Do they exist? Mm -hmm. ECOWAS. I mean, where, where, is, there, is it? Look, let's 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 be serious here. Okay, let's not get into this situation and all of a sudden people hey, get 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 the opportunity us. and they, they, they want to be making pronouncements on some of these issues. I don't know um, um, to what end. So please let us look at when I listened to Kenel Festus Abuaje. I, I was very okay, and I kept asking myself, is he a Ghanaian? Um, is he not somebody who is worth listening to? Mm -hmm. um, why won't anybody want to listen to such a view that is being canvassed you know, by such you know, distinguished people, uh, 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 distinguished personality mm -hmm. like him? And so I, I have a belief that if we don't want to listen to people like Kenel Festus Abwaji, then we may have a certain agenda that we may, we may be pursuing, you know, as a people. Very soon, I'll get there. But generally, mm -hmm. let me see that coups are bad. Mm -hmm. Coups cannot be rationalized in any way by anybody. Coups are bad. And sometimes I hear people talking about coups, 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 and it appears, or not it appears, but those who talk about them are people who have not experienced the consequences of coups. And when you stand in a lecture hall to talk about the history of Ghanaian politics, mm -hmm. and you talk about some of the human rights abuses that occurred uh, when there were coups, students tend to be surprised. Mm -hmm. And clearly it tells you that they don't know our history. Mm -hmm. People do not know that a human being was tied by a rope to a peace goer. Peace goer used to be a, you know, it's a vehicle. So while the peace goer was speeding, the human being was rolling on the floor and the body was mutilated mm -hmm. until he died. People do not know that soldiers at one point in time got into a church, started shooting, and a pregnant woman had a baby gushing out of the tummy. People don't know. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. Makola women mm -hmm. were paraded on the streets naked and were shipped mm -hmm. publicly. Mm -hmm. There are so many, if you want to know the kinds of things that happen mm -hmm. during military interventions, go read my teacher's PhD, Professor Michael Quay's PhD thesis. Mm -hmm. He talks about the kind of human rights abuses that takes place when there is school. And so, coups cannot be rationalized, mm -hmm. you know, in any way. Well, if you read Plato, he talks about. Mm -hmm the role of soldiers 
And he says that soldiers have no business being part of the governance process. Theirs is to be soldiers. You should allow the philosopher king alone mm -hmm. to govern. But unfortunately, in Africa, we don't have philosopher kings. Mm -hmm. uh, if you listen to some of the utterances mm -hmm. of our leaders mm -hmm. and some of the utterances of those people who speak on behalf of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of, of the ECOWAS, mm -hmm. that tends to rationalize the kinds of bad governance that we have. Uh, it, it tells you we, we don't have philosopher kings in, in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes coups do occur, even though we don't want it, mm -hmm. it occur. But when coups occur, we are supposed to respond to it in different ways in a manner that ensures that we are able to competently or adequately address it. In responding to coups, sometimes you may have to use military force. Sometimes you may have to use diplomacy. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about diplomacy, it's not the kinds of, kinds of things that the ECOWAS people are doing. Uh, they, they just talk, talk, talk publicly in a manner that even infuriates the person you are going to be dialoguing with. Mm -hmm. They are not diplomats, and I've referred them. I said, let's hear <laughs> to Legon. They should go there <laughs> and okay. learn. Because it is, it is not a child's play. They are using the See, other approach, no, no, no. eclectic. It, it is and not diplomacy it, a bit, carrot and stick. It is not mm -hmm. a child's play. You see, you have to sit down and be schooled. Now, so... There are two different situations. Let me talk about the Gambian situation okay. and then compare it to um, the Niger situation. See, okay. the Gambian situation is different. ECOWAS moved there with troop, troops. And, but that situation is different from what we have now. In Gambia, listen to me carefully, there was unanimity that, you know, among the, in the world community, there was unanimity that Yaya Jame had to leave. That's number one. Africa, the world community, there was unanimity that Jaya Jamai had to go. Number two, Jaya Jamai himself, his soldiers were no longer loyal to him. Mm. And so the moment we decided to send to, he fled. Now, that is not the same situation in which we find ourselves in Niger. In Niger, number one, there is no unanimity as to the deployment of military force, even among the ECOWAS countries. Mm -hmm. In the world community, there is no unanimity. That is number one. Number two, the forces, the military junta, they have a lot of support from the people. Number three, the military junta, they are willing to fight. Number four, Russia, is willing to fight on the side of the military junta. Number five. Six. Number six, Americans and France, they are willing to fight against the military junta. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. so, so you see that well, the superpowers yeah. taking sides in this. Burkina Faso has clearly indicated that an attack, a military attack mm -hmm. on Niger will be interpreted as a military attack on them. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, that would have contributed most of our troops, mm -hmm. has gone to parliament and parliament, their parliament is saying that they do not want any military troops to be deployed. And so that is going to mean that they, it is going to affect the number of troops that can be deployed there. So look at all these things. If we don't take care, and if we don't resort to diplomacy, we are going to be caught in a crossfire. And people's fathers, people's husbands, people's uncles are going to be murdered. Because you see, our strengths um, would, not, would pale in comparison with um, the strength of, if you like, Russia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Americans and France, they will come in to also um, fight. But the point is that if you don't take care, we will make ourselves a prey to attacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. And so I'm saying that we don't like coups. And in this particular situation, I think that you need competent and professional diplomats to lead the charge of diplomacy so that... A, a, a competent and qualified diplomat knows that, look, it is not easy under this particular circumstance. You go and then they shut the door at you. You go, they shut the door at you. 
A competent diplomat know what to do to surmount this kind of situation. You don't come publicly to say that, well, we are going to continue, but um, um, we will not continue in perpetuity. There are certain okay. things you don't even say them. You keep mm. it to yourself. But the moment you begin to talk about some of these things publicly, you infuriate those people you are going to be dialoguing with. Anyway. And so it makes them overly intransigent. I'm aware that, you see, many African leaders who have not governed well are the ones who are touting mm. the need for them to quickly send troops, mm. send troops, send troops as a way of preventing mm. the idea of coups from first troops. Because people fear that if it happens there, mm. it may happen here. Mm. I'm telling them that the antidote to coups it's not about sending military um, troops to mm. other countries. The mm. antidote to coups is about good governance. Mm. Govern well, and you have nothing to fear. But if you don't govern well, and you think that, well, I will not govern well, but I want to use, contribute troops to mm. um, um, help countries mm. that have experienced military coup, mm. then I'm telling okay. you that you will be right. laughing at the wrong side of your mouth one day because mm. the people will not listen. Mm. The antidote to coups is not about sending, quickly sending military troops without even thinking about the consequences. Mm -hmm. The antidote to coups, if you have nothing to fear, is to govern well. Good right. governance is the antidote to coups. But if you create, you supervise and create what Michael Quay will refer to as a praetorial situation, then you keep being afraid of mm -hmm. coups. We don't support coups. I don't support coups, mm. but I'm saying that right. when it occurs, we must use, like Professor, um, Dr. Kenneth Festus Abwaji said, we mm. must use sometimes commonsensical approach mm. to handling some of these things. You don't have the strength. You don't have what it takes. I'm not even talking about funding. You don't have the military might mm. to go and be caught in that crossfire between um, mm. um, Russia and America. Right. They are going to. So mm -hmm. if we want to fight, if we have to take military um, uh, resort um, to deployment of military troops, let okay. those who have the might, let mm -hmm. those who have the strength, let them do it. But we don't want our okay. people to, to go be and be massacred.